Hello, welcome to Charles County Now. I'm Natasha Anthony. As we age, it's more important than ever to prioritize our physical and mental well-being. Our guest today coordinates, promotes, and even instructs program for our county's seniors through our senior centers. Welcome, Debbie Shanks. She's the health promotion and fitness coordinator for the Charles County Senior Centers. Again, welcome, Debbie. Thank you so much for being with us. Hi, Natasha. Thank you for having me. Definitely, definitely. So let's start by discussing the importance of exercise. Many people believe we should slow down as we age and take it easy. Is this true or should seniors be exercising regularly? Oh, they should be exercising <laughs> regularly. You know the terminology, um, if you don't use it, you lose it. Um, <laughs> I love if that. If you don't move, you can't move, you won't move. So movement is crucial. Definitely. Body um, emotion stays in motion. Yes, exactly. So we encourage our older adults to keep moving as much as they can. Definitely. So you hear that. Continue moving as much as you can. Body in motion stays in motion. So to age well is something we should all want. As far as exercise, what are some of the best activities? And, and can you tell us, Debbie, how can seniors participate? They All they need to do is just move. I mean, we have so many programs, not only our programs, but programs that are out in the community. Um, the centers alone have a plethora of activities for a wide variety. So let's say you're not really an exerciser, mm -hmm. but you want to get active. You can go take a walk. You can just enjoy nature. Mm -hmm. We do have walking groups. So if you want something more structured, then you can do that with our groups. If you want something where you're engaged with other students, you can come take a class. It's just whatever you're interested in. Um, if you love to dance, we have dance classes. So you're, we're trying to tap into what the seniors feel and what they find exciting. Because if, if I don't want to run and I don't like mm -hmm, running, mm -hmm. you know, I'm not going to want to do it. Exactly. So even though if somebody tells me all the benefits of running, mm -hmm. if it doesn't feel good to me, I'm not going to do it. Definitely. So we want to encourage them to do things that make them feel good. That, that's interesting. I love the fact that you're incorporating dance too, because... I feel as though dancing does, not, I mean, it, it really is good for the body and it also is good for us mentally. So I, I love the fact that you talk about that. What are some of the things that seniors should do, can do to maintain a healthy lifestyle? Just keep active and watch the, 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 the food intake, not just the food intake, but the quality of the food mm -hmm. intake. Um, we know that too much sugar can wreak havoc in mm -hmm. many, many ways. Mm -hmm. We know that too much fat in our diets can wreak havoc in too, too many ways. So there's needs to be a balance both physically with our bodies as well as what we eat. Definitely. I love that. So now we're going to talk to Debbie about advice. You know, what advice does she think that seniors who may be struggling with motivation to exercise or maintain a healthy lifestyle? So Debbie, can you just provide some advice to our seniors? Yes. Um, connect with a healthcare professional if you need more medically and, you know, advice if you have diabetes or high blood pressure or things like that, mm -hmm. you're going to want to have a communication with your doctor. Definitely. I feel that communication with the doctor is important yeah. because they need to know what's going on and how you're feeling. Mm -hmm. We do have a nutritionist that's on um, site so they can speak with our nutritionist as well. They have me so they can call me directly and work out things with their plans of their plan of action or where to begin if they need to begin or where to engage. Mm -hmm. Because like I said, not everybody has the same agenda. So we take each person as they are and work with them to build something that's going to maintain and increase their health. I, I Okay. So I love that, that, we, you know, you have a nutritionist. You also tell your seniors, do consult with your physicians. So, I mean, as much as, as much as physical, you know, it's your, it's your business to ensure that you're physically fit. Do ensure, according to Debbie, you also speak with your, consult with your doctor. So now, um, Charles County has four senior centers, Debbie. What do these mm -hmm. centers do to promote health and fitness? And how can someone take advantage of the programs and facilities that we have here? It's all about health and fitness. You have to be 60. Mm -hmm. So in order to come visit us, you have to be 60 or over. Uh, you do have to be a Charles County resident. So those are the two criteria. You just come to the center. Um, we have a scoop. You pick up our scoop and um, everything is in here. All the classes, all the programs, everything we offer. So usually seniors will come and pick this up and then they'll highlight the things that might be interesting to them. 
you know, we try to cover the whole wellness wheel where we work on financial wellness, spiritual wellness, physical wellness, you know, the dietary wellness, the whole thing. So we try to keep everything at all of our centers in here for them. We, we were just, they, seniors were in there painting waterfalls the other day. So how engaging is that where you're painting and you're focused on a project, Mm -hmm. you know, and then some of them left that class and went to Zumba. (laughs) So, you know, it's just, it's just a lot of fun. Money, body, mind, and soul. Exactly. I love it. I love it. It's, it's sorrow. Thank you so much, Debbie, for that. So May is Older Adult Month. Now, Debbie, tell us what are some of the things that you're doing to promote health and fitness during the month of May? During the month of May, we've got ooh, we've got a lot of things that are going on. Um, the biggie is our fifth annual health and wellness fair, which will be at the Waldorf Senior Center. And it is May the 31st. Okay. So um, it's during the day at the Waldorf Senior Center. We have vendors that are, you know, going to be there for, again, all the wellness wheels, mm-hmm. the, the, the financial, physical, spiritual, health, all of it there. And they're going to be, you know, talking to seniors about, you know, different aspects. So we're encouraging you to register for that. They would just need to call the Senior Center to register. Okay. Um, I know Nans or Moy, they're going to be starting Pickleball. Pickleball is like the that new is, Yeah, that's a new fad. Yeah, for seniors. Mm-hmm. And if you don't know how to play, it's so fun. And they just have a blast doing it. So they do offer it at Waldorf, and then they will be offering it at Nanjimoy okay. as well. So those are fun little things. Um, basketball, racquetball, ballet, strength training, conditioning classes, yoga, just all of it we do. Nice. That is, that is a, a really nice long list for our seniors to really get involved and for us to celebrate um, Older Adult Month. Yes, so that yes. is interesting. So with all the programs offered, it does take a lot of people and time to, to provide instruction classes and assistance. Yeah. Debbie, can you talk about how could someone get involved? Are there volunteer opportunities for folks? Oh, yeah, we do have, we definitely have volunteer opportunities. We have volunteer fitness instructors. Okay. Um, we, I just talked to a, a senior the other day who has, um, She's certified instructor. She just enrolled her parents and she's interested in giving back. So she's wanting to teach and she's teaching dance. And we have another senior who's going to do chair dance. So that it's not is just, interesting. Yeah, it's just, they come and they, they, they want to volunteer. We have front desk um, volunteer where you can come and just answer phones. We have our tax preparers. They use volunteers every um Every year when the tax season comes, they train them and they work with the um, the tax people. So it's, yes, definitely volunteers. Just contact the center. Okay, okay. And so contact the center. So Debbie, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And for, you know, sharing your thoughts and everything that's happening for senior health and fitness. Mm-hmm. If someone is looking for more information, where can they find it? Mm-hmm. Charles County has four senior centers. There's the Waldorf Senior Center. Nanjimoy, the Mm -hmm. Richard R. Clark Senior Center, and the Indian Head Senior Center. And they can go to the Charles County website and they can look under uh, aging and they would pull up the scoop. And so you could do that online or you can always come in and visit us. We love to have them. I love that. That is such a warm welcome that she says. You can always come in to visit us. We would love to have you. So please do take Debbie up on her offer. Thank you so much, Debbie, for talking with me. That is Debbie Shanks. She's the health promotion and fitness coordinator for the Charles County Senior Centers. And for Charles County Now, I'm Natasha Anthony. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Natasha. Thank you. Thank you.